हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ आर डी महाजन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एम आई टी औरंगाबाद प्रेजेंटिंग माय वीडियो ऑन थर्ड यूनिट फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्म लाइक लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्म इज अ टूल टू ट्रांसफॉर्म द फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम डोमेन टू अ फंक्शन ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन मीन्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट any function from time domain to a function of frequency domain then we can take the help of a fourier transform it allows you to perform a lot of manipulation like filtering sampling modulations etc it is used in the study of frequency response of a filter solution of partial differential equations fourier transform is used in electrical engineering for signal analysis therefore whenever we have to perform any signal analysis then we can use this tool of fourier transform fourier transform is defined as and it is defined over the interval minus infinity to plus infinity means when x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity uh, fourier transform is given by or obtained by we denote it by capital f of lambda f of lambda is equals to 1 by root of 2 pi integration from minus infinity to plus infinity f of u into e raised to i lambda u and we have to perform integration with respect to u that means if any function f of u is given and if you want to find its fourier transform over this interval minus infinity to infinity uh, we can use this result once again i will repeat f of lambda f capital of lambda is equals to 1 by root of 2 pi integration from minus infinity to infinity f of u e raised to i lambda u du and whatever the value we obtain we can use to find inverse fourier transform therefore inverse fourier transform is defined as second result fourier transform for even function fourier transform for even function and it is defined over the interval again minus infinity to infinity over minus infinity to plus infinity as we know that whenever the uh, interval is in terms of minus l to l we can check the function for even or odd and if we are able to uh, define that function as even function then its fourier transform is given by f of lambda is equals to 1 by uh, sorry root of 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity f of u into cos of lambda u du uh, whenever it is even function we have to multiply it by a cos term cos of lambda u and whatever the value we are getting that value we call as a fourier transform for even function and the limit for integration is from 0 to infinity and therefore inverse fourier transform inverse fourier transform for even function 
is given by it is given by f of x is equals to it is root 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity the value obtained we substitute it here as f of lambda into cos of lambda x dx Uh, it is cos of lambda x into d lambda. Uh, by this we can find the inverse Fourier transform for even function. Then third type. Fourier transform for odd function. Fourier transform for odd function in the interval again say minus infinity to two, plus infinity in this interval if you we are able to check uh, obtain that function as an odd function and then it's for a transform is given by f of lambda once again f capital as root 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity f of u into sine of lambda u when the function is an odd function then we have to multiply it by sine lambda u integrating it with respect to u and whatever the value we are getting we call it as a uh, Fourier transform for odd function and we denote it by uh, f of lambda capital F of lambda and using this we can find inverse Fourier transform and therefore inverse Fourier transform for odd function is given by and it is equals to f of x as root 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity whatever the value we have obtained here we put that value here f of lambda into sine of lambda x d lambda okay uh, using this formula we can obtain inverse Fourier transform for our function Fourth Fourier cosine transform uh, it is defined over the interval zero to infinity. It is defined over the interval 
जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी विच इज हाफ ऑफ दैट टोटल रेंज माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी वेन एवर द इंटरवल इज जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी आई दर वी गेट फोर इयर को साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म और फोर इयर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड इट इज डिनोटेड एज एफ सी लैमरा सफिक्स स्टैंड फॉर को साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड द फॉर्मूला इज रूट टू बाय पाई इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एफ ऑफ यू इंटू कॉस ऑफ लैमरा यू डी फॉर फोर इयर को साइन इन इंटीग्रल दैट फंक्शन एफ ऑफ यू इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कॉस लैमरा यू and using this we find inverse fourier cosine transform therefore inverse fourier cosine transform is given by uh it is denoted by again fx small f of x as root 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity uh what was the value we obtain that we put here as fc lambda into cos of lambda x d lambda by using this formula we can find inverse fourier cosine transform and the last type fifth fourier sine transform again it is defined it is defined in the interval uh between 0 to infinity value of x lies between 0 to infinity then it is given by or obtained by एफ एस लैमरा सब एच एक्स स्टैंड फॉर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म फोर इयर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म इज गिवन बाई रूट टू बाय पाई इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एफ ऑफ यू इन टू साइन लैमरा यू डी यू द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रल वी डी नोट एस a uh, fourier sine transform fs lambda and using this therefore we find inverse fourier transform inverse fourier sine transform is given by it is given by or obtained by f of x is equals to root 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity value of f of s a sign transform here f s lambda into sin of lambda x d lambda therefore a uh, total uh, five result uh, first two results for fourier transform when the interval is from minus infinity to infinity and if you are not able to check the function for even odd at that time we have to use that first two results then in the interval minus infinity to infinity if we are able to identify the function as even or odd we can find a fourier transform for even function 
a fourier transform for odd function and next step fourier cosine transform and fourier sine transform for which the interval must be 0 to infinity whenever this is the interval then and then only we can determine either fourier cosine transform or fourier sine transform therefore these are the total uh, five important formulas in this fourier transform uh, let us see the first example find the fourier transform for function f of x is equals to 1 for the condition mod x less than or equals to a and second value is 0 for mod x greater than a. Uh, here this is the given function and then we require to find the uh, Fourier transform. Uh, the meaning of mod x less than or equals to a means the values of x lies between minus a2 plus a and therefore if you try to represent this in the figure The x axis, y axis, origin, the value between minus a2 plus a and the corresponding function value fx is 1. Therefore, if you consider this much as 1. Uh, this is that uh, graph or the figure and mod x greater than a means the values on right hand side of a and values on the left hand side of minus a its value is equals to 0 means from a to plus infinity and from minus a to minus infinity its value is 0 um, as this graph is symmetrical about y axis as graph is symmetrical about y axis therefore given function is an even function okay and as it is a even function fourier transform fourier transform for even function is given by and therefore uh, we use that uh, respect to result uh, Fourier transform for even function it is given by f of lambda is equals to root 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity f of u into cos of lambda u du okay uh, by applying this result we can determine the required Fourier transform and therefore 0 to infinity 0 to infinity uh, we have to split that integral as 0 to a and then 
a to infinity f of u into cos of lambda u and again f of u into cos of lambda u du uh, splitting this interval 0 to infinity 0 to a and a onwards up to infinity and then substituting the corresponding values it is integral from 0 to infinity f of u the value of f of u between 0 to a is 1 and therefore that value we substitute as 1 into cos of lambda u du and the second value is 0 therefore if this one is 0 that integral becomes 0 and then performing the integration integration of cos with respect to u integration of cos is sin of lambda u and divided by coefficient of u coefficient of u is lambda and limits from 0 to oh sorry 0 to a okay uh, here make the small correction limit from 0 to a and therefore we substitute the limit uh, it is equals to root 2 by pi uh, substituting the upper limit for u as a we get sine of a lambda upon lambda minus lower limit for u as 0 sine 0 is 0 and therefore we have the final answer as root 2 by pi sin of a lambda upon lambda as a required Fourier transform or as a required answer. Uh, very simple technique, only important is here where to check whether the function is even or odd with the help of this figure and from figure we are getting that function as even function and as it is even function uh, we use the corresponding formula f of lambda as root 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity f of u cos of lambda u du and then 0 to infinity is not a continuous range we have to split it as 0 to a and then a to infinity between 0 to a the value of the function is 1 put that here into cos of lambda u the second value is 0 therefore the second term becomes 0 integration of cos sin lambda u upon lambda substituting the limit we get the required 1 2 3 3 steps only therefore a very simple technique to find the uh, Fourier transform uh, important one is this figure to determine whether the function is even or odd uh, therefore, if you are watching my videos, please like and share it as well as subscribe to my channel for uh, latest updates. Thank you. Thank you very much.